Michelle. <laughs> Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is only begotten the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And uh, real quick, I'm going to land back off of this video right here that the brothers uh, Zadok um, I'm Amram House of David did uh, beautiful video, you know, very edifying. Um, but uh, he got some clips in here I want to show. I'll grab a few scriptures, make it quick. All right, it's his um first fourth. He, he went into the word sleeper cells. All right, he typed in what are sleeper cells, and it says a selective group of spies or terrorist agents that remain inactive within a target population until ordered to act. Okay. A selective group of spies or terrorist agents that remain inactive within a target population until ordered to act. All right. And um, in this video right here that he, that he, he goes into, it says military aged male migrants explain to uh, explains to Uber driver. He's a paid soldier by the U.N. OK, so it says don't say you weren't warned. Just waiting on that phone call, and that's the truth. They're just waiting on a phone call. All right, these people are ready to, 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 to do the devil's work. All right, that's why they letting these migrants in here, you know, like no tomorrow, which I got a video I'm gonna put in the beginning. I mean, yeah, I'll put it in the beginning, man. I ain't gonna grab it right now. Oh, <sighs> but um, yeah, we in that time, man. All right, so uh, well, if I put it in the beginning, you, you, you've seen it by now. But you had, uh, uh, what's that girl, what's that lady name, fucking the vice president, she said, we did it, Joe, we did it. And they showed you people, you know, running through the border, okay? So that that's what these people are doing, you know? And um, I remember I did the video about, you know, um, that, 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 uh, when the people was coming through Mexico, I forgot what it was called, the uh, something straight, um, you had UN that was pretty much funding the whole thing. You know, giving the people uh, supplies and food and water, and you had these different, you know, setups along the the, the, the path where they were getting aided. All right, and that's because they they're planning something bigger than you can ever imagine. So let me play this, and I'm gonna grab a few scriptures. Right, quick, and we'll start the daily lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. And it's a, a black guy, and he's from another country, and he's holding out this card. And he said, yeah, the U.N. sent me over here. I'm a soldier for the U.N. And I, they gave me this card. It's got a computer chip in it, like a bank card, you know. But it's got the guy's picture on it, information, number. It's got his, uh, he's a number. And, um, you know, he's telling them that he was told he was given a phone. He was given this card. And he was told to go to a certain city and get a place to stay and wait they would get in touch with him through the phone i guess mass text message or something tell him where to go when they needed him to do something but basically he was free to come into the country and hang out now listen he's not just gonna come live here if he's a this is why the, a lot of people that's coming through that border are military aged men they was you know saying old women and children and you see the videos which we've shown you the videos we've been warning this plenty of times before i've done many videos now in this whole migrant situation it's a bunch of military aged men okay because they, they, these are soldiers and they're about to come down with great wrath these gurgle troops they really hate you americans they're ready to kick heads off man you see them uh, in new york beating up on the police and shit hey this is all a part of the plan all right your country has sold you and now they about to you know flip the script on you people bro this place is through i was just watching a video about how the music industry is through you know the, mu the music industry people are not being able to make money in the music industry anymore Scripper says the daughters of uh, music should be brought low. This place is over. Okay, there's no future here. All right, but listen to, to this point he about to say. Mass text message or something, tell him where to go when they needed him to do something. But basically, he was free to come into the country and hang out. Now, listen, he's not just going to come live here. If he's a soldier for the UN, he's not going to come live here for six months and then pay him $2,200 a month. Okay. Whatever they're planning on doing, they're planning on doing it within, I would say, the next 90 days to 120 days. You see? 
the next 90 days to the next 120 days. All right, so this shit about to hit the fan, and it could start, you know, some shit really could start off on April 8th, which I want to go, I'm going to go into a video about that uh, later, Yahawa uh, Ratiza, about Project Bluebeam. They might do this whole Project Bluebeam shit, because that, 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 that's what's going to bring forth that new world order. You know, they're going to put the fear in you people, like how they did with the Karagma, not because like they did the Yab, they're going to put the fear in you people, and you people are going to jump, you know, jump up and take that, that Karagma, and, you know, a lot of you people are, 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 going, are, are going to be put to death. It says U.S. bound Haitian and uh, Tapachula, Tapachula, Mexico, is complaining that the U.N. failed to make its payment to him, and now his U.N. debit card is empty. So they're making payments to these people every month, and they failed to make their payment. This nigga, so, so now he's exposing. All right, let's see what he got to say. El depósito es 7, 7 de, de enero a 14 de enero, pero no, no deposita nada. Uh -huh. uh, three thousand something pesos. So these motherfuckers are supposed to be getting, you know, paid, okay? They getting paid every month with your tax dollars. They paying them to come over here and whoop your ass. And listen, man, these people right here, bro, they, like these are military age males. They about to come in here and and, and put and and show the fuck out. All right, quite quite frankly, and excuse my language, but I gotta tell it to you straight. They finna show out. All right, they finna come in here and, and pop you women, kill you men, you know, and eat your damn kids, man. It's about to be it's about to be bad. Um, and it goes. Does that go into your bank account? ¿A dónde va? ¿Tienes una cuenta? ¿Una tarjeta? Sí. ¿Tienes? Oh, let me see. And uh, how much is? There you go. He got a card. This is a card from the UN. All right, he has the chip in it and everything. All right, his name's on it. It says business card. So they, so, 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 hey, so they make it business. This is, you know, the motherfuckers getting paid. You know, this, this is big business right here. Is anything on that card now at all? No, no, hay dinero. No, hay, no, hay nada. No, 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 no
All right. They're sending your troops off to these, you know, to, you know, really to their death, you know. So the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So they're just waiting for a call. They're all, all uh, they, they get phones when they come in here and they're waiting for a call. And when that when when that call comes, because they want that because they, they, yeah, they come in here, they paying them now. But then they, but now they're going to stop paying them and they're going to say, hey, listen, man, you know, go out there and get it how you live. You know, they're going to come in your house, try to take, you know, take your food, your, you know, your, 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 your resources, your woman, your, 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 your children, you know. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So you try to consent, just give in. These people are, they don't give a damn, bro. They, they, they're, this scripture says they shall be like madman sparing none. So just because you, you know, oh, OK, OK, I'll go, I'll go. Or you try to comply. Guess what? You, you, your ass still getting shot. You still getting robbed. You still getting popped. Okay, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So they about to come down with this wrath, bro. All right, it says, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay, so this is the time we're coming into. You were warned. They shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses. They then they shall be known, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Okay, and I had a dream. I had a dream last night. It was spiritual. It was like a I was getting it was like a fucking all, all I know is it was like a it was like a a, a firefight with you know, with bullets or whatever. People were, were, were uh, shooting each other. You know, and it was somebody people was trying to kill me. They was trying to kill me. And I and in the dream I remember like, you know, it was it was an Edomite who was trying to kill me and it's like I didn't even have a gun, but it's somebody else, which I, I think this even that tried to kill me was like the other guy's brother or some shit on opposing sides. But he shot him. And he, he killed the guy that was trying to kill me, you know, and I was like, what the fuck? You know, and I, I was and I, cause I remember thinking the guy, you know, I hey, think, you know, you know, you know, you, you uh, saved my life. But that was all your whole boss. You know, I've been having a lot of dreams lately of, you know, just complete chaos and destruction and, you know, the most crazy things happening. And, and it looks like in a dream that I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to die. And every single time the Lord delivered me in some miraculous way. OK, so we coming into this time. Scripture says the, the remnant shall be a frightened you know, when, when that ultimate judgment comes. But also um, the, 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 um, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. It says um, <clears throat> here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I would deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your guide, and we believe that the Lord is our guide. Man, He's going to take care of us. He's going to make a way out for us. All right, let's grab this real quick. <coughs> I'm on my break, so I got to make this quick. You know, time time is already up. George chapter three verse nine: Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And you you, you already heard how they bringing out you know, Venezuela's and then out their prisons, sending them over here. So they're preparing for war. It says, beat your plowshares in the swords and your pruning hooks in the spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And these, these weak nations are now strong and they're about to, you know, come down with wrath. All right. Upon you Babylonians. You know, a lot of you Babylonians, you ain't ready for this, man. You know, you, you, a lot of you pacifists, you punks, you, uh, tra you know, trannies. You just had the day of uh, trans day of visibility yesterday. So y'all ain't ready for this, bro. All right. It says, assemble yourselves together, come all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. And the Lord is, is doing this, all right? The Lord is doing this, all right? It says, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the, violent, for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land, right? Because what you did to, 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 to Jake, to Israel. I got one more, and I'm going to close out. It says Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 12 in the NLT raise the the, the the battle flag you raise the battle flag against Babylon which is what's happening reinforce the guard and station of watchmen prepare an ambush and that's what they're doing they're preparing an ambush that's why they're talking about oh this you know he told me he he worked for the for the UN they're preparing an ambush and hey on this damn April 8th not saying it's going to happen but it could happen this ambush could start, you know, you know, could start. They're saying, you know, again, they're getting ready. Prepare an ambush for the Lord will fulfill all his plans against Babylon. And that's what the Lord is about to do. You are a city by a great river, a great center of commerce. But your end has come. The thread of your life is cut. The Lord 
uh, 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 Yahweh of heaven's armies has taken his vow and has sworn to it by his own name. Your cities will be filled with enemies like fields swarming with locusts and they will shout and triumph over you. And that's what's already happening. All right. If you paying attention, look around you know, everywhere all over America, even, even where I'm at, man, it's, I'm seeing people that really, you know, was not here a year ago. You know, you got people that don't even speak English. You know, walking around this motherfucker because what they got in on that border, you know, and now they, you know, in, in here doing, you know, get getting uh, or waiting to hear that to get that phone call. All right, and they gonna get that phone call. All right, that phone call is coming. They gonna get on that dumb, 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 damn Obama phones <laughs> or whatever, and they gonna get that call and they gonna tell them what to do. They gonna get instructions. And this is why the Lord set the men of the Lord up to come out here and warn you and tell you this time was coming. So when it comes, you can't say you ain't know, man. All right, because it's definitely coming. You ain't gonna be able to say you ain't know. Oh, I had no idea. Why nobody warned me? Well, the prophets been out here on the streets telling you uh, day in and day out, man. All right. Um, watchmen upon thy walls, holding out their peace. Um, scriptures also says, Ezekiel 33 and 33. Then they shall know that a prophet have been among them. So the man told you about what was coming. You act like you ain't know. That's your business. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame Shirala, about the ball. Double honest for our teachers, the elders and apostles, great millstone. Shalom. We did it. We did it, Joe. Ha, ha, ha.